let us go ahead and let us try to introduce technology into the model. In order to introduce technology into the model, there are two things that Solo suggested. The first model suggested by Solo is a Harrod neutral model. Pehla model jo Solo ne suggest kiya, wo ek Harrod neutral model hai. And the second model suggested by Solo in another paper, it was a Higgs neutral model. His focus has been on Harrod neutral. Higgs neutral say he did something different, which is called as multi-factor productivity. Iski baat hum just thodi der mein karenge. But first of all, we want to focus on the Harrod neutral model. In Harrod neutral model, we have labor augmenting process. By labor augmenting process means we are making labor productive. So the production function that we are working with, this is this. Ye hai hamara production function. Right? And this production function, if you can see, why it is labor augmenting? Because this A factor, A represents technology. A represents productivity. So ye jo hamara productivity factor hai, jo hamara technology factor hai, it is actually going ahead and coming with labor, right? So it is a labor augmented process. So instead of writing now the production function as k to the power alpha, l to the power 1 minus alpha, I will have al to the power 1 minus alpha. So technological progress occurs when a increases over time. Agar a ka value badega, it means that there is technological progress that is taking place, right? A unit of labor is more productive when the level of technology is higher. So more A, it means that your labor has become more productive. Now what we go ahead and we assume is that the growth rate of technology is going to be G. Technology is growing at the rate G. Okay. So growth rate ko humne kaise represent kiya? We are well aware of it that a dot by a is equal to g. Change in a by the original value of a, uska growth rate g hai. And this is also equivalent to saying, just like we had written labor function. You remember, humne labor ke liye tha, l is equal to l naught e to the power nt, and n represented the growth rate of labor. Similarly, we can write a function for technology. So technology ke liye we can go ahead and we can say that A is equal to A naught into E to the power GT. So G represents the growth rate of technology. I am leaving it up to you just to solve this. Dekho, humne yahan se kaise uh, L dot by L N nikala tha. You can just try and find that you will get A dot by A as G. Right? Okay. Now what we are going ahead and we are doing is with this production function in mind, I am going ahead and I am just dividing throughout by L, not by AL. Currently, I am just dividing throughout by L as of now. So when I go ahead and I divide throughout by L, I will get something like this. Okay. So I have Y is equal to k to the power alpha, a l to the power 1 minus alpha. It means y is equal to k to the power alpha, a to the power 1 minus alpha, l to the power 1 minus alpha. I have divided throughout by l as of now. So this will give me small y, k to the power alpha, a to the power 1 minus alpha upon l to the power alpha. And I'm just going to club this together. So I will get small y is equal to small k a to the power 1 minus alpha. Okay. This is the first thing that we have gone ahead and done here. Now if I go ahead and I take log on both sides, what will happen? So I will get log small y is equal to log k to the power alpha a to the power 1 minus alpha. 
So I will get log small y is equal to just open this up log m plus log n. Take the power down alpha log k plus 1 minus alpha log a. This will be log y. Differentiate with respect to time. So you will go ahead and you will get 1 by y dy by dt equal to alpha 1 by k dk by dt plus 1 minus alpha 1 by a dA by dt. Right. So I will go ahead and get y dot by y is equal to alpha k dot by k plus 1 minus alpha a dot by a. I am doing something very important here. Very, very important. Note that we know that this a dot by a, this is growing at the rate of g. Ye mujhe pata hai. That a dot by a grows at the rate of g. So I am going to say y dot by y is equal to alpha k dot by k plus 1 minus alpha g. This is the growth rate of technology that I have replaced it here. Okay. We will stop this equation here itself. Abhi ke liye is equation ko yehi chhodti hoon. Now just go to the next equation. If I go to my capital accumulation equation, total capital ka accumulation equation, so what did we know? That the change in capital, this change in capital, this is going to be the investment minus depreciation. This is capital. Ke hai, huh? So investment is nothing but investment is S capital Y minus depreciation into k. This is going to be k dot, capital K dot. Tick. Now if I go ahead and I just divide throughout by capital K, so I will get growth rate of capital K is equal to s y by k minus delta. Now, if I want that the growth rate of capital should be constant, अगर मुझे ये चाहिए कि steady state में जो भी capital K है, इसका growth rate constant हो, zero जरूरत नहीं है, बट कोई ये constant number हो, if I want that the growth rate of capital K should be constant, तो ये तो constant है, this number is constant, this is also constant, so if I want that the growth rate of capital K should be constant at steady state, what would I require? I would require that capital Y and capital K should grow at the same rate. At steady state. Ye, I am not claiming that capital K ka growth rate is zero. This is my claim. Nahi hai. If you remember in the last model we did, capital K was growing at the rate N. It was not that it was zero. But ye n to a constant, tha na. it was some parameter, it was some number. So capital K will grow at steady state. We know this. But we are just saying that it will grow at some constant rate. Wo kusi, kisi ek number se grow karega. It will be some number. Right? So if we want that this should be constant, if I want this to be constant, the only thing that needs to be constant is this. And for this to be constant, I need that capital Y and capital K should grow at the same rate. Or ye hamisha hota hai. You will always notice, notice in all the models that Y and capital K will be growing at the same rate. They will always grow at the same rate. Okay, we saw it in the earlier model also. Ki capital Y and capital K were growing at the rate M. So they grow at the same rate. Now if I assume that these are growing at the same rate. 
right? Y and K are growing at the same rate. If I assume that to be true, right? Then what I can go ahead and I can do is I can just plug in that suppose that their growth rate is some GX, right? So I am saying that Y by capital K is constant. So capital Y and capital K ka growth rate is same. Now, if this is same, then I can just divide both sides by labor. And I can say that small y by small k should also be constant. It means that should also grow at the same rate. Again, you will find in all cases. Just like the last model. Kiya tha, in that last model, small y and small k were growing at the rate 0. But their growth rate will always come out to be the same. Come back to this equation, why I taught you this thing. So if I assume in this equation that they are growing at the same rate, y and k are growing at the same rate. So I can just say that suppose their growth rate is some gx. This growth rate is some gx plus 1 minus alpha g. Isko yaha le jo? 1 minus alpha gx is equal to 1 minus alpha g. Cancel this out. So gx will be equal to g. So this proves, ye, ye proof karta hai that the growth rate of small y, small k will be at the growth rate of technology in this model. Small y or small k, kis, grow, kis rate se grow kar rahe hai is model mein? They are growing at the rate of technology. So if I just revisit the table that I had created here, You should write it in that table itself. Please make up a please make a table so that you remembered all these things. I don't know where I have taken that table. But just make a table, huh? And write it there itself. Okay, I will just make a table here. Towards the end. So that it is intact. 